Hi, this is Dean Rothbard with the Low Volume Manufacturers Association. I'm here in Los Angeles at Wired Magazine's Next Fest, which is basically a showcase of all sorts of future technologies. Right behind me, over my left shoulder here, is the display for Desktop Factory, the first plan commercially available for offices and, and home um, desktop rapid prototyping machine. Uh, desktop Factory is based out of Pasadena, California, and it is owned and financed by Idealab. And the concept behind it is to produce a uh, 3D printer, a rapid prototyping machine for home and office use for under $5,000 a year. In fact, Desktop Factory is already taking orders on its internet site at desktopfactory.com for the 4,900 and something machine. Uh, it requires a $495 deposit. Uh, sitting behind me is Richard J. Dyfuis. Is Richard, <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. Sitting behind me is the president of Desktop Factory, uh, who I had a chance to ask some questions to. Is this the version that's going to be the $5,000 version? And you're taking orders already for it, right? Like, and it, but it ships in 2008? Right. Yeah. What, what do you see as being, in terms of right now, in the home application, what's likely to be the most com I understand how it's used in prototype design and whatnot, but when people bring it into their home, what's it likely to... What are, what are going to be the early adapters? What are they going to use it for? Well, I think, to be honest, I think they'll figure out what to use it for, like any new product. It's not obvious what people will use it for, but obviously you can use it for toys and uh, you, kids' parts. You can use it to print out replacement parts, for example. Do you envision that there will be uh, basically digital stores on the Internet that will exactly. sell? So if you want to produce this rubber duck, Right. They're, then, actually already, they're, our they're already doing it. Yeah. We downloaded both of these from websites. Uh, some of them are free. Some of them actually charge you for the 3D models. And once this, once you buy this $5,000 system, will it have the CAD software with it, or does you would then have to also? buy and train on CAD software. You'd have to learn to use CAD software if you want to design your own. And what's the easiest and least expensive CAD software that's... Google SketchUp, which is free. SketchUp for Google, right? Yeah. yeah. And then from that, so anything that's on SketchUp that's within what? Five by five by five? Within this. Within that, you can make with this. Right. And then down the road, do you see doing models that either make larger my guess is we'll build models that make smaller parts just because our focus is really on getting the cost down rather than more capability, maybe a little bit bigger. The, um, and right now, that, and this is the only model that right now Desktop Factory right. has in the works or planning. Yeah. Is that right? That's, that's cool. small companies. Oh, I understand. Yeah. What are you making right now? A duck. Like You're making another duck? Yeah. And then somebody hand paints that? Right. Is that what happens? Right. It comes out like this, gray material. Um, and so initially you're selling a thousand, the plan is to sell a thousand units in 2008? Right. And will you make more in 2008? Or you don't... We'll make as many as we can. As I see. Many as as many can buy. sell? Right. Well, I'm going to put my order in for one. I, I Except my family's here, they can't figure out what I'm going to do with it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a difficulty. I, I mean, there's only so many rubber ducks we can make. Now, does that rubber duck float? No, it sinks. It sinks. Yes. It's made out of what, the, this duck? It's nylon, aluminum, and glass. And then I read on your web website that it's something like, you're estimating that the nylon, what do they call it, the nylon powder, the nylon toner, powder, toner yeah, is, is about 50 cents a cubic inch, is that it's right? About a dollar a cubic inch. So what would it cost to make, if I have this machine at my house, What's it going to cost to make that that rubber duck? Five or six dollars. That's all. Yeah. That's a, that's only five or six cubic inches. <laughs> so should I get one, Avital? Sure. Yeah. This is what I want, guys. This is what I want for Christmas this year. This is honestly. That's my, that's on my Christmas. Uh, you still have. If I go home and order it now, give you the four hundred ninety-five dollars. I still get one. Sure. Okay. Probably not by this Christmas. Next. Christmas. No, I don't mean that. But I mean, there's still. You haven't sold out a thousand of them no. yet. 
I don't okay. think so. I actually haven't checked for a day or two. Okay. Are you, are, is this you? Are you Richard? Yes, I'm are Richard. Are you? Well, congratulations. Uh, this is a cool company. Yeah, thanks. I, I definitely like it. Uh, how long have you been working on it? This? Uh, about three years. Three years? And Idea Lab is kind of like a incubator for um, high-tech entrepreneurs? Yeah, mostly, originally it was mostly web-based things, but they've uh, brought, they have a solar uh, energy company, uh, uh, car company actually that's making a uh, high gas mileage car. And Richard, how does this compare to what they're doing at Cornell? They're selling, I guess, a kit from a, right. a build-it-yourself right. kit. Are the, once, if you have the technical acumen to build it itself, Will the two machines be relatively comparable? Uh, I haven't actually seen the parts they built, but I think it would be less, the parts probably are not as strong or as good resolution as these, but I don't know for sure. And does this, does the body of this machine use anything that is rapid prototyped or rapid manufactured? Uh, we, we did prototype some of the parts with a rapid prototyping system. The parts that are actually in the machine. The machine are already now tooled. Right. They're actually tooled parts. That's something. Can it do threads? It can do threads as long as they're not too fine. The Forty thousandths of an inch is the smallest feature we can make. The, um, you can drill and tap the material though. It's, the material is quite strong, so you can, after the fact, drill and tap it if you need to. But if I use, say, computer-aided design software to design on the computer a series of interrelated gears right. with, like, a turning wheel, then it will print out of this, right, and it will be functional? Uh, or it needs to be, it needs, does it need to be filed down? You have to be do use some support material, so it depends on the actual uh, uh, geometry, whether or not you, you have to remove, you might have to remove some material. Some, some, and, yeah. and again, in anticipating buying one of these, will it either come with something to finish it, or, or are there kits that you'll have to finish it? Uh, we'll probably have some kits you can buy, or to finish it, yeah. what parts to get uh, to finish, help finish it. Great. So uh, anyway, so what are we gonna? Can I see anything in here yet? You said a couple minutes still. Uh, I think oh. it just started printing a layer. So, so how long does it take to print a duck? Five or six hours. Five or six hours to print a duck. Okay. And this again will plug into a regular home outlet, right? Right. I mean, it doesn't need a 220 volt wiring or anything special like that. Plugs so into your Windows PC with a you know, USB port. Do right. you get to pick the material? Uh, uh, no, we supply a single material. Uh, we'll probably have good. others over time. So, so how does it blend glass, plastic, and aluminum? It's nylon, aluminum, and glass. It's melting all those through together? Well, the only one of those that will melt is the nylon. So the nylon is what we use as a together. Oh, actually, it's part melt, of those are... we melt the nylon that holds the rest of the material together. So you can I hand it on? Sure. Was this material used previously in other processes? Uh, similar materials have been used in other processes. Like 3D printing? Or yeah, there are uh, technology called selective laser sintering that costs over $100,000, but it uses a similar material. Does it print just layers? Or? Right. So what if I wanted to bring the so ring just or printing something? A, uh, just come down and printing a layer now if you want to see it. It's, it's actually, yeah. there's a roller or drum that's rolling over and printing the next layer of the duck. Cool. When it's done, it will move down further so you can see it better. Okay, see, next one you see layer? Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on the complexity of the layer a bit or two. Per layer? Yeah, maybe longer than that. 125 so layers per inch. So we're talking like an hour to print an inch and stuff? Uh, yeah, again, depending on the complexity. So is this like an overnight job? Yeah. I mean, basically, you would typically start this at night and then part would be done in the morning. It's not like a Xerox machine, for instance. It spits out the Yeah. <laughs>